What's up? Editor Carrie here. I realize I never filmed an intro to this video. Duh. <laughs> uh, this is a super quickie on how I uh, make my Cavecos or any pen really uh, right wetter. Um, it's a question I get all of the time. Like, all the time. <laughs> so I thought I'd just film it. And I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. So I don't do a ton, oh, Parker hair. <laughs> I don't do a ton to my pens to make them right wet. Um, and that's probably why I don't really show you guys that much. Um, sometimes it's literally just as simple as putting a little bit, and then, I mean a little bit of even pressure down uh, when you're writing just to open the tines up a little bit more. Um, but if that isn't enough, then what I'll usually do is come in with um, some brass sheets. Um, if you hear Parker in the background, I apologize. Um, so basically I'll take one of these and I'll just floss the tines. So starting in the breather hole, I'll put like the edge down in here and I'll just try and pull outwards and get it so that it's in between the two tines. See, it's slightly grabbing on here because the tines are open enough uh, where it can do that. But if you really wanna test out how tight they are, try and put like the brass sheet in between the two tines on the outside. And if it can hold on, but still move, which this one's actually a little bit tight, then it's usually pretty good. But if it, if you can't even like get them in between and that's far too tight, if you're noticing that it's like denting the um, brass sheet, then that's also too tight. And that means your tines are way too tight together. Um, and then by doing this, you can kind of gently pull to one side, gently pull to the other and just kind of open up those tines a little bit. You d it does not take much, it really, really doesn't. Um, and it will open up that flow. Now, when you do that, sometimes you can misalign the slit in the feed to the actual tines itself. So for this Caveco, it doesn't take much. You just kind of like push it over a little bit. It's pretty much already aligned. Um, Worst case scenario, if you've opened up the tines, you can see through it. If you hold the pen up to the light, which I won't be able to show you here, but you should be able to see some light in between the two tine slits. Absolutely worst case scenario. And this please only do if you can replace the nib in the feed, if, if worst case scenario you break it, but you can also widen the slit on the feed and that will increase the flow. But please do that carefully. And you would do that by taking out the nib in the feed um, and then getting something like an X-Acto knife and literally cutting a slit down that feed. I have only ever had to do that one time uh, and it worked well, but please be very, very careful make teeny tiny tiny itty bitty baby movements and of course it voids all warranties so just warning there um but you shouldn't have to and that's that's literally all that i do um it's nothing magical <laughs> it's just increasing the amount of ink that can get from the body into the feed and then onto the paper when you do increase the flow um you do then increase the line width um, so, you know, be aware of that. It's not like you're going to go from like a medium to a double broad or anything, but you're definitely going to get there. Um, so for example, I just did that with my Caveco Sport here. This is a medium nib, um, and it, it does write like a Western medium nice and wet. So uh, this, I was just playing with a little ink swatch there. <laughs> um, so it, it will certainly give you some good flow. Much more than a Caveco typically would. 
Um, so just be aware though that anytime you manipulate your pen in any way that is not factory fresh, uh, you do void the warranty. So that's all I do. Um, yeah, nothing, nothing too special, which is why I really haven't ever made a, a video on it before. Um, brass shims are pretty much my bread and butter for doing that. Um, if a simple press on the paper is not sufficient. Uh, let me know if you guys do anything differently in the comment section down below. Um, yeah, and hit that like button if you liked it. Hit the subscribe if you want to see more like it every Monday and Friday and the occasional Q&A on Tuesday. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye.